and gentlemen, I'll make this rabbit disappear. I know, I know. Right before our eyes. I'll just tap my magic wand three times. <laughs> He's still there. So he is. Waiting for his carrots. <laughs> <laughs> that bunny isn't going anywhere. No, but I know how to make you disappear. How? Hey, that's not fair. You can't do this to me. I'm on TV. Turn those lights back on. Please. Electricity lets us work and play around the clock if we want to. Light bulbs turn night into day, indoors and out. Hardly anything has to stop anymore because of darkness. I guess we take electricity for granted. Flip a switch and it's there. But every once in a while, the lights go out. We're plunged into darkness. Then, the brightest light comes from the moon, just as it did in the days of the caveman. In a blackout, we realize how important light bulbs are. In a blackout, I just follow my nose. It's easy. But we don't have a nose like yours. In this factory, they turn out enough light bulbs for nearly everyone in Canada. This machine is called a scrambler. It scrambles the bulbs, getting them ready to go on the production line. A simple light bulb is not so simple. It starts out as clear glass. Then, white powder is blown in. The powder fogs them all up. The coating will help the light shine brightly. Now over here, they're making stems from glass. The stems go in the bottom of the bulb to hold the filament. That's the little wire that lights up. They handle the glass very gently. Not one of them is broken. This machine is working on the filaments. The wire is so thin it's hard to see, isn't it? The filaments are treated with a special liquid. When electricity heats them up, the little wires will glow. They'll last a long time. filaments are carried to a sealing machine. This machine will put them inside the light bulbs. So, what do you think of the factory so far? There's so many things happening. And they're all noisy. Where are my earplugs? This equipment handles glass, fire, and thin bits of wire. Not very much is wasted or broken. Here come the bulbs. They're moving along on a special light bulb freeway. The conveyor keeps them apart so they won't get broken. It's a traffic jam. The light bulb freeway ends at the bulb drum. Can you tell what the drum is doing? The bulbs are outside the drum, not inside. Right. The drum keeps them standing in line. In small groups, the bulbs are fed into the sealing machine. As the bulbs spin around, the wire filament is locked inside. This machine is like a little robot. With four arms. The robot is moving the bulbs over to the exhaust machine. 
Its job is to make sure they're all clean inside. And it puts in a special gas that'll make the filament burn. The gas is called argon. Each bulb is tested. Any bad ones are taken off the line. These bulbs are now ready for the base. What's the base? Recognize it? The base is the part you screw into the socket. As the wand touches their base, the bulbs light up. Any that don't are rejected. Once the bulbs are put together, they're called lamps. The lamps are taken upstairs to the packing department. Any that were rejected by the machines are tested by hand. This is another kind of light bulb, a fluorescent tube. They're used to light up really big rooms. To make fluorescence, the long tubes are washed out first with water. Then they're coated with phosphorus. When the lamp's turned on, the phosphorus will glow. To make the coating stick, the tubes are heated in a big oven. Then they're sealed at both ends. There, this end's done. The robots turn the tubes over and the other end is sealed. fluorescent is tested several times. Fluorescents burn brightly, but they don't give off much heat. These tubes have passed all the tests. If we didn't have light bulbs, it would be awful. Aw, oh, you'd get used to it. No radio or TV. Oh, I could live with that. And you have to go to bed early? Oh. And you couldn't have your nightlight? My nightlight? I can't sleep without a nightlight. If you had to, could you live without electricity? Are you sure? How would your life change? 